we need to practice what we preach and during seasons where you're doing good for God you're really close to God and obeying him and making some breakthroughs against the enemy winning some souls to Jesus helping present Christ to people and encouraging them to serve Christ when you're doing that when you're denying parts of the world denying yourself of the world and sin you have to be on guard because the enemy is going to come to you in the next in the next season of your life the next scene of your life and he's going to accuse you and try to set you up and trap you into doing the things that you preached against he wants you to be a hypocrite so bad he loves hypocrites so we got to be careful when we preach we have to make sure we continue to practice what we preach after you start preaching hard hardcore stuff the devil's gonna say God I, he's gonna come up go up to God and you know, they're gonna have a little Job conversation about you and he's gonna say I bet I can get him to go against all the stuff he, he was preaching against I bet I can get him to start watching bad TV shows again I can get him to start whatever you know spending his money unwisely playing video games all day I bet I can get him to quit witnessing to quit outreaching, to quit street preaching, to quit praying or fasting. The devil's gonna go to God and say that to you about you. So you gotta keep on guard and and make sure you can practice what you preach. And on another note, we also need to practice what we preach. That means we need to learn and meditate about what we can say, how to present Christ properly. In, a most, in the most effective way, how we can present Christ to people. It's all about e reaping the harvest. It's all about evangelism. The last thing Christ said was the Great Commission. The last thing he said should be our first priority, to seek and to save the lost, to preach the kingdom, to preach salvation, repentance of sins, to preach the judgment, all right? And to build up and edify Christians. So, just be careful because the devil's going to set you up with the trap or a temptation in the future if you start preaching and living a godly life. You got to be on guard. I've had so many times where I was prideful. You know, God exalts you, and then when you preach towards others and try to challenge them so, so God can exalt them, if you, especially if you do it in a prideful attitude, the next season of your life, the next scene of your life, you're probably going to fall flat to your, on your face and be humbled because you were prideful. But if you can maintain a, hum a, humili a humble attitude, walk in humility, and preach and challenge and command people to live for Christ with all that they have, then you can overcome the next temptation. But the prideful will fall, but the humble will be exalted. So, Christ calls us to higher standards, you know? He calls us to higher standards. We are above and beyond the law. We can live above the standards of the law. The law is for people with a hard heart, people with a hard heart. We, we're above the law now. We're responsible to keep the law and beyond the law, you know? And the Holy Spirit will guide us in such a way.